All right, we've got us entering the basement. Uh, we've talked about the lower level unit, now looking at the first floor. So we're definitely gonna need this moved out of the way, get the furnace through and the old one out. This is 125,000 BTU furnace, looking at replacing this. Uh, possibly coil, so this might be newer. This is five ton coil from, looks like possibly 05, so actually not too new, R22. And then uh, we've got our air scrubber in here, return drop, flue piping. Uh, one thing I've noticed is the water heater piping is below the furnace piping to the lower level. Um, and this is um, induced draft. So that needs to be flip flop. I know why it didn't happen. It's because that's three inch and that's four inch, but uh, we installed it. So got to make something right there. And then uh, the return definitely looks undersized. Uh, and then there's not even, um, it says do not return. So I'm not sure what this is all about. Got to see what that means. Um, and then line sets go out. Looks like units are both on racks. The third one for the second floor, I think that's sitting on the ground. These are all the line sets going out. We could probably go right out there with uh, PVC if she decides to go high efficient. Breakers over here, but they're not labeled. Challenger panel. Um, it's 200 amp, but I'm not sure what goes to what here. We'll have to identify that. Um, and if she goes with PVC, we'll have to have a path cleared. Um, probably everything right in this area will have to be moved if we go out with PVC. Um, and then just want to look closer at uh, this return. I'll see if that's cut open, and I'll see why that's not being returned back to the unit. So a couple issues there. Uh, floor drain comes down into here. The actual second floor unit that was replaced um, not too terribly long ago. We'll see what the age of that is too. So that's newer. And that's pretty much it. There's no walkout to this basement. I have to bring it up and out, I believe. I'll double check that as well.